Okay, so I am doing a little a paragraph for each astrology sign for the month of November. So again, if you want to fast forward and go ahead because you know you're Pisces, <laughs> so kind of do that if you want to, but I'm going to just go through each of these. And when I put this up on Facebook, I will also put this section up so that you can also just uh, read through them too. Okay. So hi, everybody. Yes, I hope you have listened to the astrology for November. And now we're going to do the little bits. Aries, this month, you are being reoriented into a new reality. By the end of the month, you should have something more clear cut to move toward. Your energy is being held back until Mars goes into Scorpio on the 19th. You have a lot of opposition going on in your life. Do not let the stress put you into a place where you react in a one-sided way. You may want to struggle to enforce your point of view. If you do, you will miss the opportunity that is trying to show you what you cannot see. Saturn is trying to show you your darker side. Sternness is not suiting you at this time. Okay, let's go on to Taurus. Taurus, this month you may feel as if someone gave you a magical sleep draft. Don't worry, you are out of season and this is your time to regenerate. Take care of you and all things will eventually come back around. If any health things occur after November 23rd, you need to immediately address them. Waiting is not advised under this astrology this month. Saturn helps you stabilize the external chaos of the world so you are less impacted than others at this time. Gemini. In the classic place of the twins, duality is what is obvious and up this month. Do not delay on anything related to your health. Catching something at the beginning will help you heal faster. Don't use your normal avoidance pattern. Reactions want to explode, so your motto is be cool, be calm, and stay grounded. Cancer. Business negotiations for cancer continue to dominate. You are busy, and while you do like it, you might prefer working from home as much as is, is possible. Everything will be completed. It is just some things take a lot of effort. The planets are really trying to be generous, but there will be delays that cannot be helped. Let go of that old dream and instead concentrate and focus on what is right in front of you. Leo. You have to make your health and stress levels a priority. You will have a lot of impulses and spiritual suggestions. You don't have to do them all. Sort out what is really yours and that which aligns with you best. Be your best, tolerant, and generous self. Others need you at this time. You cannot do everything, but you can do what is appearing. Something unexpected could appear at the end of the month. Virgo. While it is a positive month, just remember that the peculiarities of your personality are going to be on full display also. It is good to be aware of how others see you and notice if there are any corrections you may need to do to feel comfortable in your own skin. Let go of what is unnecessary and let the other elements shine bright. Libra. Diplomacy rules this month. Your skills are appreciated and helpful. Without much effort, you flow in the direction of the river and things naturally move. Do your best to not rush. That is when you get out of balance and that is how accidents may happen. Scorpio. You have lots of planets helping you along this month. You're feeling good. Energy is up and you achieve more than expected. On the 19th, Mars, your secondary ruling planet, moves into your sign and you are filled to the brim with energy, vigor, and vitality. Your sexuality is heightened and luck seems to favor you. You come across as powerfully resilient. 
Sagittarius. Results are seen and planning actually seems to work. But you have your own planet running full steam ahead until December 2nd, and so you might as well take advantage of it while it is there. On the 22nd of the month, the sun goes into your sign, and while that is awesome for the older crowd, it may feel that aging thing. <laughs> Reflect on your life and enjoy the courage you have exhibited over this lifetime. But you may want to do those things that keep your mind seeking. After all, there is never really enough time to do all the things you want. Capricorn. Yes, you continue to slog through the mud with the wagon and rocks you are carrying. The planets are making things really difficult for you. The eclipses have not let you off the hook. There are still corrections that you are making and things are not crystal clear yet. Patience continues to be the way. Remember to exercise. Don't defend your position from your ego. It is unnecessary. Aquarius. You may want to da dare the naysayers. You may want to show that fear is never the way through any problem. Contracting, contra contracting, contradicting, blah, I can talk today. Contradicting never got you anywhere. There are difficulties and disadvantages arising from many signs. The results of all the squares in your chart. You are being asked to risk it all and leap. But leaping is your forte. Your journey of exploration into the hidden karma that Saturn and Pluto have been revealing seems to now have a new direction and purpose. Take advantage of this opportunity because it will not come back around again. Pisces. Odd things seem even more odd. Even reflecting on yourself, you begin to question the decisions and choices. Regardless, you have a positive mindset. Your intentions were always good, even if the results did not pan out the way you had intended. You now need to catch up on a few things, and you have to keep up, you have to keep up from this point on. Slacking will be very noticeable. While you still may feel a bit uncertain, it is going to be worth it if you keep on the path ahead. Whew, there you go, everybody. I hope that that helps a little bit. You take care. Enjoy the month of November, and I'll see you guys in December.